I got cut off, I was, like I said, technical issues. Your peers are not like you, okay? You are where you are. God has not revealed himself to you, but you are doing your part. You are listening to the video and thinking about it. Your friends are not doing their part. The unicorn is in the backyard. I'm not telling you to, you know, believe that so you believe it. I'm telling you the unicorn's in the backyard for sure. And I'm telling your friends that the evidence of the unicorn in the backyard has been given, has appeared to them at separate times in their life and they have rejected that evidence. I'm kind of saying it to you too, but you're doing the correct thing from where you are. You're saying, no, there's no unicorn in the backyard, but you're saying, tell me more. And you're listening to what I'm saying past that point. Your friends are not. They're saying, no, there's no unicorn in the backyard. Never introduce yourself. Your Christians are idiots. Your Christians are so stupid. I can't believe how stupid you are. You're just like Kirk Cameron. You're so lame. You hate gays. Blah, 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 blah. That's what they're doing. That's not what you're doing. Okay? That's why I'm 100% confident that I will, at some point, when I get to know what I'm doing better, prove God is real to you. 100% confident. And it's not that I have faith in God or faith in me. I have fa actually faith in you. Because you're kind of honest. You're honest enough that I can make up the difference. Your peers are not. I'm telling you, yeah, there's a new unicorn in the backyard. You're saying prove it. I'm saying I will. But, you know, go slow with me. I'm new at this. I'm a beginner. I will prove there's a unicorn in the backyard because there is. Your friends are saying, no, there isn't, no, there isn't, prove it. And then they're not listening. Then they walk away. No, there isn't, prove it. Pfft. And they walk away. Go look at my Twitter feed. You don't believe me. That's really what's going on. That's what you don't get. You think your, your peers are honest seekers of the truth. They are not. I promise you. I promise you they aren't. They don't want to know the truth. You do. You actually listen and you're saying, prove the you. Then, then you dispute me. I got no issue with that. Dispute me at will. But give me the chance. They are not doing that. You are. Now, the only thing I'm saying to you is give me the chance and be a little patient. Okay? You're dealing with something in its infancy. You are not dealing with some, you're not dealing with, with somebody who has been doing this. You're just dealing with something just started. And I'm just getting a feel for it. So be patient. But to you personally, yes. I, I promise you, if you keep with the videos, I will prove to you the reality of God beyond any shadow of a doubt. Promise you. Case closed. I promise. How can I be so sure? Because I'm telling you the truth. And I have a call of God on my life, and I will walk out that call in a way that will be powerful and convincing to millions upon millions of people. You know the Bible pretty well. Okay, you probably were a Christian or something, but you know the Bible pretty well. You know that Paul said, it is not with the arguments of men, but with demonstrations of the power of God. Now, like I explained to you before, demonstrations of the power of God requires a lot. It requires some knowledge of how God moves and how God works. It's not something I can just do. Poof, here you go. But I will be able to do it. And this is just the beginning. Once I get my groove on, forget it. You'll know it. Everybody who listens to these videos will know it. Forget it. But right now, you're, you, you know, I, I'm new. And yeah, uh, I'm not very good at it yet. You know, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm trying to be